Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Aquarius. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so today we're going to talk about confidence. All right, so every day we're going to try to have a word that we talk about. Words mean something, whether in the English language, Spanish, Portuguese, whatever, where, how, whichever language, words mean something. So today we're going to talk about confidence, all right? So it seems as if some of you have some big dreams, you have some big wishes, some hopes and prayers that you have been putting out to the universe. And off camera, when I was shuffling for you guys, um, I got the word confidence. Now, um, it seems as if the God of the universe or whatever you believe in, the God of the trees, the sun, I don't know, but whatever you believe in is trying to confide in you or at least trust in you or have entrust in you that you will do or stay on the path that they have set before you, especially once they fulfill your dreams, your hopes, your wishes. It just seems as if, you know, um, the universal God wants to have confidence in knowing that you are ready or prepared, you know, that for immediate use. So that means that you have prepared for this abundance, you have prepared for this power, for this knowledge, you're going to use it immediately to stay on that path, to um, bring into fruition or institution, whatever it is your life purpose holds for you. It just seems as if the universe doesn't want you to um, misuse, um, get swindled, uh, go in the wrong direction in terms of what they they are going to bless you with whatever you have been praying for so what you need to take from this aquarius is that you need to be prepared you know success happens when uh you know preparation meets opportunity so the universe is going to bring you that opportunity but you need to prepare be prepared so you can be successful back to confidence you know um the universe also wants you to have confidence in yourself because some of you are lacking that and confidence is really, you know, it's just knowledge. You feel confident when you have knowledge of, you feel insecurity when you don't have knowledge of, right? It's the same as if you were in a dating situation, the boyfriend or the girlfriend is across town you don't know what they're doing you don't have knowledge of what they're doing so now you feel insecure so it's just the god of the universe wants you to be prepared have knowledge of what you're doing um so that you can have confidence in yourself um so that you can be successful so it, it kind of all kind of trickles down if you will have knowledge so that you can have confidence so that you can be prepared, so that you can have success. All of that really just spells out plan. You need to have a plan in place, Aquarius, or whomever's coming to the reading, because uh, this is what uh, the God of the universe has given me today to give to you. So confidence, take a minute and look that word up so that it can resonate further with you. Um, confidence, confidence, that's the word of the day. So let's get into it, let's see what um the cards have to say for you all right all right so we've got the two of wands and the justice card coming up so this is planning the card even says planning we just talked about a plan says so some of you need to have a plan so that you can move forward and this talks about a knee-jerk opportunity we talked about opportunity knee-jerk is immediate we talked about immediate so you need to have a plan of immediate moving forward of immediately making a decision here make sure that you're not going to make the wrong so the two of wands it talks about a decision right and it says that um sometimes you're at a crossroads because something is opposing or it's it, it's in opposition to um it also talks about maybe some of you are weary of making the wrong decision because you know it's going to lead down a karmic road a karmic road into maybe having to rework or rewire or untangle yourself unravel yourself uh get free of so it's like 
maybe choosing to start this new business. You don't have a business plan. You don't know where it's going. You just know you want to start a business and you just jump out there with your money, with your lack of knowledge. And now a year later, you, you've depleted all of your savings, all of your money. Now you're, it's karmic. Now you got to unravel, untangle yourself, or this could be in terms of a relationship. You know that somebody, you know that somebody is good for you, tried and true, maybe even a little bit boring, but you also know that somebody is spontaneous, fun, wild, a wild thing, but you choose the wild thing. And now a year later, you're trying to figure out why uh, this feels toxic and karmic because you know what you chose. Uh, the justice card is an 11 card back to a two and the two of wands. So we got two, two showing up. So definitely your life is about some decision and decision making, planning, maybe even planning to repay debts or some of you, the karmic debt has been paid. You put in the work here. That's what it's saying for some of you. And so for some of you, you need to plan to repay debts or um, clear the slate here, uh, go backwards, do the right thing. Again, planning to do the right thing, to put your money, your time, your energy, your effort, your resources, your knowledge into the right thing, the just thing, the righteous thing. Um, also being fair, making the, the fair decision. So maybe the neutral one, not one where you are extravagant, you're over the top and you haven't thought about something here. This could also be somebody coming back to you and trying to apologize to you and do the right thing. Maybe they feel indebted to you. They want to repay that karma. Someone could actually owe you money too, or there could be a settlement that you're waiting for. It says that when this settlement comes in, when this money comes in, you need to have a plan of what you're going to do, or it could all slip through your fingers. What else do we want to tell the Aquarius? What do we want to tell the Aquarius? The Ace of Cups. Very nice. You have some good energy, Aquarius. It seems as if the universe is going to bless you with the opportunity maybe to start a new business, a business endeavor, maybe um, a spiritual business. I cut the deck to shuffle again. We got the Ten of Pentacles coming up with the Hierophant. So we'll talk about that in a second. Um, the Ace of Cups here. Some of you just need to get spiritually focused, balanced. You need to get your emotions in check also. Some of you have cried so many tears, but the universe is blessing you with an opportunity, whether it be a person, place, or thing, maybe to start over. An emotional starting over here for you. Look at something different. Maybe there was an energy of maybe you loving something or putting so much energy into something that just didn't reciprocate, didn't love you in the same way. You need to clear that. You need to clear that energy. We got the Ten of Pentacles in the Hierophant. It looks like you're going to be able to establish something here in the earth. But you've got to be under some regimen, some routine, some law and order here. You can't be lawless. You can't be frivolous. You can't be without intention set. Because there's opportunity for you to fulfill some of your long-term goals, have a great reputation, get recognition, be an expert in your field. This is time for you to show up, but the, the universe wants you to, um, you to be in a better emotional state also, maybe even about money. Some of you think of it negatively. This is also confidence here. Have the confidence with the Ace of Cups to know that you can accomplish, that you can move forward. The universe is blessing you with um, inspiration. Also, you're going to be inspired to do something, inspired to move forward, inspired to create something, inspired to um, be involved in something, maybe even to share. It's just like the transference of wealth. This is the universe maybe entrusting you with this newfound wealth here um maybe even this relationship with the higher event this a uh, higher level of commitment and this also could be higher level of commitment in the spiritual in the spiritual realm also 
to where um, the universe is just really trying to get you to a place of um, being routine, structured, also having um, that level of confidence. What else can we tell the Aquarius? Some of you just, you got to get to a place of knowing that it's all going to pay off. I don't know if some of you give up too, too, too soon, too easily with the Ace of Cups here where you start something, but there's not a lot of progression. You have to um, not resign. You know, don't don't bow out. Just keep going. What do we have to tell the Aquarius? And then we'll get out of here. We don't want it to be too long today. Um, what do we want to tell the Aquarius? What do we want to tell the Aquarius? The two of cups or the two of hearts. So a mutually beneficial relationship. There could also be a contract, whether it is one with another person in terms of love, or this is a contract in terms of business. It's mutually beneficial. Okay. So that means that maybe you, you're going into a contract with someone. You got another two showing up. So two, two, two. Um, yeah, it talks about joy, luck, happiness. It also talks about uh, maybe your life being on the right path here. You're going to have to make some deciding factor. There's a deciding factor. You're going to have to make a decision. What is this? Last card. Okay. The king of spades. So you're going to have to make a head over heart decision here. See the absolute truth of the matter here. Be strategic. The only way you can be strategic is if you have a plan. Back to that word plan. Um... With the king of spades here you're gonna have to be witty clever think outside of the box be 10 steps ahead because harvest and maybe even a surprise harvest is coming into you aquarius this could even be pregnancy too or some of you are pregnant with a really good idea and it's birthing time you're going through the birthing pains here you feel like it's not all going to pan out but it is the universe is trying to get you ready prepared ready prepared so that you can have success. This is the only way you're going to have long-term money, stability, recognition, prestige, empire, legacy. That's the only way you're going to have it is if you're prepared. So write things down, Aquarius. Yeah, the tennis space, they want to let you know that a, a tough time, a turbulent time, a hard time in your life is over because the Ten of Pentacles is here for you. Um, some of you need to shift your thinking, your focus in terms of, oh, things are just going to kind of collapse or turn out bad for me, turn out uh, to where it's going to be ill will. There could even, be, you know, you got to think positive. You got to know that that time in your life is over. Maybe that season in your life, maybe you went through 10 years of just a really tough energy here, Aquarius. But the universe is trying to get you more confident and knowing that you're now in a better season in a better place luck is on your side things will always go your way if you stay in that energy if you make the right decisions if you plan if you really um trust in also trust in yourself trust in the universe aquarius you can have what you want okay you've been through the fire you've been tried but now it's about you coming out of it and actually um stepping into your power stepping into who you really are stepping into what you really want and also being practical you can't be so spiritual that you're not practical because we live in the 3d world we live in this world we live in this world that's governed by you know the exchange money for time you know um so you have to be ready to uh be met with that Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There will be success, health, and business. You will get a recognition, maybe even a promotion. People will see you winning. It's going to be very public, Aquarius. Everyone's not going to be happy for you. We know that um, you chose not to engage in lower vibrational energy to fight for, to stay in something that was just not. You chose not to continuously fight for something and you didn't know where, what you were fighting for. You didn't even know what you were going to get. Isn't that crazy? Fighting for something and you don't know what you're going to get. Wow, Aquarius. It looks like um, 
some of you could be salon owners or you want to be a salon owner or something like or something like that or you want to salon barbershop whatever um you want to do something to where it adds a level of luxury to to your life and to other people's lives some of you are going to be a business owner you're going to do independent work you'll get what you want here but that still could be oh, some of you feeling like something is missing and that's going to be that person because some of you are still going to be single it looks like a feminine energy will get all that she's wishing for all that she's hoping for but it's this this um this energy of not having their per the person that they want yeah. not having a long-term relationship is going to plague someone but um those are the messages that i have for you aquarius or it resonates for you go over to the website book your own reading there if you took something from the reading you can always get something back you could buy me a coffee if you are feeling moved to the link is below um Aquarius so the new moon is coming up on February 1st what we're going to do is a lot of people have inquired about maybe um the, the money jar what I'm going to do is a big money jar for all of us and I'm going to do um, a money ritual so if you want to partake in that um, there is a link below where you can just drop something in the jar um, it has to be more than one dollar and fifty cents USD um, just because of servicing and the fees associated with electronic uh, money transfer so it's just like um you know you just throwing something in the pot so that you can get your hopes your dreams fulfilled in terms of your money your finances your resources if you're hoping for money if you're hoping for that new job you could um just uh make your donation it just has to be more than a dollar fifty it could be a dollar fifty i don't know whatever you want to put in the pot um and then also write on your, um, when, when you're making your transaction, please type in there what you want your, um, your wish to be or what you want fulfilled in your life, what you want to manifest. And on the new moon, we're going to, um, I'm going to do a ritual for all of us and we're going to bring in that new energy, that new energy for money. And now this is not for love. So do not throw anything in there for love nothing for love nothing for love nothing for love nothing for love you have to say it at least five times um nothing for love only for money if you are money career uh the tangible okay money career all right so things of those natures and we'll do one for love eventually but i've got to kind of structure that differently but um, if you have wishes in terms of bringing in newness on this new moon on February 1st, you can always donate to um, to the money jar and get your wishes fulfilled. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. Uh, all links are below. You can always ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday night, 930 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.